What's up guys? Welcome back to another episode of Real Reefing TV. Uh, today I'm excited to get started on the rock cure. So I'm going to be doing a bleach cure on it, which basically means that within a week, maybe a little bit longer, most if not all of the organics on the, uh, on the actual rock, meaning dead sponges, crabs, um, old algae that was left behind from when it was in my tank, I took it out. It is now completely dry, um, sitting over here on my back patio. It's been sitting here for, I don't know, maybe a year and a half now. Now again, didn't prepare for this video, so here we go. Um, basically, my uh, patio is a mess. That's what it is when you have two two-year-olds, so is what it is. Uh, the rock that I have down here, I have a little bit of Pecani rock, um, I've got some Fiji down here, um, some more Fiji rock, and, um, and then a large piece, very nice large piece of Haitian. Now you guys know that I'm doing this for my nano build, so um, I'm not going to need that much rock, but it's always a great idea to have more rock than you actually need. That way when you're doing your, um, that way when you're doing your aquascape, you can, you just have so many more options available to you. It's not like putting together a jigsaw puzzle where you only have enough pieces to complete the puzzle and it'll take you a long time to figure it out. If you've got more options available to you, that'll definitely go a long way um, in helping you create the aquascape that you want to make. So from here, what we'll need to do is we'll need to get this rock um, into my brute container. Now this um, brute trash cans are fantastic for holding water. They're fantastic for um, you know, doing cycles like this, or, or not cycles, but, um, but curing. Um, any type of holding because they're really nice and tough. They're sturdy, they don't bow out extremely bad and um, flimsy or anything like that. They're very strong um, for holding lots of water. And so what I'll do is I'll put the rock in there. Um, I'll put 10 gallons of water in and one gallon of bleach. So it should be a 10 to one ratio on the water to bleach um, ratio. And that will help us dissolve any of the organics left on this rock. Um, I think they said that the suggested is one week. If you do more than that, um, that's kind of like at the minimum is one week. If you do more than that, that should bring down the organics even further. And then we'll get it rock and rolling with the aquascape. Let's do this. Now you guys can see how big this piece actually is. It's um it's quite large, and there's no way that it's going to fit in the 10 gallon nano. But um, I'll do the cure on it, and then I'll break it up into smaller pieces. It's mine. I don't care, and um, and then we'll aquascape with it from there. But I don't feel like breaking it up right now, so into the tub it goes. Even small pieces like these come in really handy when you're aquascaping because they can uh, fill in those small places where, they, where the rocks have gaps and make it look like one nice complete continual structure. So, in they go. Now I want these to lay down as flat as possible. There's a little... I want these to lay down as flat as possible. So I'm gonna put this big rock on the bottom. There we go. That way it's completely submerged in the water once I get 10 gallons of water in here. So there are a bit of like kind of like just dirt and leaves and stuff like that 
uh, in the water. You can see, no big deal though. Um, you know, I tried, I pressure washed the rocks um, prior to putting them in here, but it's just kind of the nature of them being outside. Like I said, not a big deal. Um, that's why they're going in this bath. That's why that they're getting cleaned up this way. So um, I'm totally cool with that. 10 gallons covers the rocks up perfectly, I might add. And, um, and so here comes the next part, which is putting in the bleach. The reason why I put the water in first is because I don't want the bleach splattering all over the rocks, just as you saw um, the, the water do when I put the water in on the rocks. It splashed all over the place. If you put the water, if you put the bleach straight down into the water, um, you will reduce splash to a bare minimum, as well as um, you know keep yourself uh, out of contact with the bleach and your clothes as well. If you do come in contact with the bleach, it's not a huge deal. Just make sure that you get it rinsed off immediately with some water. No big deal. So let's get the bleach in here. You want to make sure that you don't get any gurgling. That gurgling is also going to create splashes. So if you uh, do it in such a way that you don't get the gurgle, um, it'll flow nice and easy um, without any splashing, just as you see here. I'm gonna try to spread it out a little bit. Oh, a little gurgle. Perfect. It's hot out here. Um, it's also really, really humid. It's been um, kind of like raining all day long here in sunny Florida. So, um, but I got the bleach in, and um, so now it's kind of a waiting game. I am going to shake uh, the can around a little bit, um, and I don't know as much as I can. I guess I won't. I'll have to get something to uh, to kind of mix it around. And, um, and make sure that the bleach gets properly incorporated into the bucket. So we're kind of just gonna play the waiting game, give it a week or two, and then we'll get to aquascaping. All right, Real Reefing fam, appreciate all you guys out there. If you haven't subscribed yet, please do so. And uh, if you like the video, give it a huge thumbs up. I'd appreciate it. And as always, stay salty, y'all. Peace.